Welcome to the, to the 2017 Freedom Rally. We are so grateful that y'all are here, and we thank you for, for uh, coming and being with us today. My name is Mark Covey, and I just want to share some things with you and welcome you here. And so I have, I have two minutes, and I have three minutes of information to give you in two minutes, so I'm going to try to talk fast. Uh, I think we have a great evening planned for you. We, we, have, uh, we think that you will be challenged by some great speakers. We think you'll hear some inspiring music receive an encouraging uh, presentation, and get a valuable education on what's going on in our state. And so we've tried to uh, provide such a, uh, an evening for you. So what we hope is that when you go home, you'll go home with a greater awareness and a greater desire to make your voice heard and your vote count. One of our founding fathers, Samuel Adams, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, uh, once said, it doesn't take a majority to prevail but rather an irate, tireless minority keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. And I hope that tonight will ignite a fire and that it will, it will be a fire of God's people to be interested in doing something about what's going on in our nation. And that has to do with, uh, with the gospel and it has to do with being a good steward of the wonderful freedoms that we have in this nation. In the highest sense, we want to ignite a fire, not uh, for freedoms, not not in any low sense that, that uh, some might claim. So what this means is that it's necessary for all of us to do more than we do now. And so, and that means uh, participating in the political process and, and the way I look at it is being a good steward of the freedoms God has given us. So whatever you're doing now, we encourage you to do a little more. If it's, if it's, if it's not voting, it's voting. If it's voting, it's doing a, a step beyond that and being involved. So in other words, we, we first thought, just a few things I wanted to give is that we first ought to be prayer warriors for our nation, for our leaders, uh, for our people. And then we need to be informed voters and we need to educate ourselves on things. We need to be willing to speak out for God-given rights that we have already. We need to be willing to take the time to write our legislators and our newspaper editors and be part of the solution rather than the problem. And then we may even need to throw our hat in the ring and, and run for office ourselves. So this year's Freedom Rally theme is to fulfill freedom's duty. And we all have a duty to fulfill. Guarding our freedom has certainly got to be one of the most important ones that we have. I think y'all would agree with that. And so what that, the reason we do that is we do that so that we might worship our Lord freely. We might speak freely his name in the public place. And our children and our grandchildren might inherit the freedom that has been enjoyed for generations. So past generations have fought world wars and they've had threats of their own and they've, done, they've prevailed in them and now it's our watch. I heard someone describe it this way. It's, it's our watch. We're the guardians. We're the ones that are on duty now. Look at what's going on while we're on duty. The Lord has given us much to do and, uh, and we ought not to let our children and grandchildren down. And I just want to ask a few questions. What will we do with with this responsibility that we have. What will our grandchildren say about us? What will they say if we choose to sit on the sidelines while our nation is overrun by those who hate our godly foundations? Y'all remember that place in scripture that says, uh, what, if the, if, what will we do if the, if the foundations are destroyed? And that's exactly right. And that is exactly where the attack is today. It's on the foundations of our freedom and God's word. And so we need to stand for those things. And I just want to say it's time to stand and fulfill freedom's duty. So I urge you to get engaged in the battle, get engaged in the culture. And then last of all, I just want to thank you all for being here. I want to say God bless you, and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy the evening. Thank you very much.